You will see in Nabian's road safety campaign, Drive Safe. Dr. Harshwardhan, Health and Family Welfare Minister, now joining us live. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and we are really sorry uh, about uh, your loss. Uh, uh, most of the people who've come on the show, uh, some of them who've lost their near and dear ones, you know, have come in and joined the fight against, uh, uh, against uh, to, to make the roads of India safe. Uh, You've also made uh, all the positive uh, noises saying that, yes, rear seat belts should be made mandatory. What are the things that you are planning to do uh, on your part as a government, sir? You see, I think uh, this issue of uh, uh, road safety and uh, uh, use of the rear seat belt uh, came into uh, limelight only recently, and it has come in the past also, but I think it, uh, I, I uh, made sure that this issue is highlighted to the maximum possible extent and then it's uh, converted into a massive uh, mass media uh, campaign and campaign through all possible means to basically educate people about the importance of seat belts and not only the front seat belt but the rear seat belt also because uh, most of the people feel that the rear seat belt is only for a decorative purpose but the uh, 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 death of Mr. Gopinath Munde and I, I remember in the past we lost our chief minister also in a road accident and uh, at that time also it was my opinion that probably if he was wearing a seat belt uh, even while he was uh, sitting on the back, I, I don't really remember what was his location at that time. But uh, the seat belts actually uh, can make a difference because the way uh, Mr. Gopinath Munde died, because just because of the sheer impact of a trivial trauma, he got his uh, liver injured, it was profusely bleeding, and he got his uh, uh, fracture of the um, uh, cervical 1 and cervical 2, uh, that's called the atlanto-axial joint, right. resulting in injury to the spinal cord and the vertebral artery and uh, compromising the blood supply to the brain stem, resulting in uh, cardiac arrest as well as uh, stoppage of his respiration. Right. So, uh, I would appeal to all the countrymen, uh, please take seat belt as your friend. Seat belt can save your life. Seat belt can be crucial in your life. At one point of time, uh, not using it can even take your life. So, uh, uh, please uh, utilize this opportunity. The cars have been designed like this to uh, ensure your uh, safety. Right. And it is not only because of the law that you should wear a seat belt. I think otherwise for, also. For, for your safety. For be, your safety. Uh, for your safety. So please. one question really, is it also time for VVIPs to think? Because I'll give you an example. Uh, you know, yesterday just outside office there's a crossing and uh, most of the cars uh, were moving at least, I would say, 60 plus uh, kilometers per hour. And suddenly from the right, the, uh, 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 I would assume a, uh, a, a VIP person, because he had an escort, he had to cross the road. Uh, one guard, not even from the police, not a traffic police, a guard came to the middle of the road and tried to stop all the cars on the highway and then let this VVIP car pass, which was uh, dangerous not just for that guard. I'm sure he's the sole bread owner. He could have been killed in that high-speed corridor, one, and also for the VVIP and also other people who are dri driving on that road. Is it time for VVIPs also to think? I, I, I fully endorse and appreciate and respect what you are saying and I uh, thoroughly uh, endorse uh, your sentiment which is probably everybody's sentiment and I think it should be the sentiment of the so-called VVIP also. I think uh, by and large the VVIPs can also move like normal citizens and at least such uh, situations can always be avoided. The uh, training programs have to be devised like this and instructions have to come from the top. And I think uh, um, 
I can promise that uh, things will certainly change uh, for the better in times to come. Our Prime Minister has a uh, slightly different approach to these very important things. Right. And I think uh, uh, we are all uh, uh, thinking on the same wavelength as you are thinking. Certainly. Uh, we'll certainly try to change the culture of the country. Certainly. Sir, I also have a person who's been working tirelessly, you know, to make Indian roads safe. Uh, Piyush Tiwari is the founder of, uh, founder member of Save Life Foundation. He has a question for you. Piyush? Good morning, sir. Uh, so my question to you is that, uh, you know, road accidents have taken away about a million lives in the last uh, decade. Uh, just like you eradicated polio, uh, do you think you'll be able to eradicate road accident deaths from India as well? Uh, I, I, I can't say if I will be able to eradicate, but I, I can only say that I have that uh, desire and spirit and the intention, uh, my intention is uh, 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 very clear that uh, we have to do the maximum and I, I appreciate the contribution of people like you and we would like people like you and other uh, organizations in the voluntary sector to work uh, closely with the government and particularly the health ministry to help us in uh, generating a uh, mass awareness uh, in the society. Uh, we will see that all possible rules, uh, they are also uh, looked at uh, once again after so many years. And then, uh, you see, most of the things here can be achieved with the help of education, which I feel must start from the schools, it must uh, go into the colleges, and it uh, must be part of the uh, campaign drives uh, by, done by the various NGOs, not only working in the health sector, but everywhere. Uh, I'm sure in times to come we should have better uh, results. I have the uh, <laughs> desire to be able to, uh, if not eradicate, at least uh, control these road accidents to a significant extent. Right. The data that you are uh, uh, saying are, I think, uh, frightening. It, they are. So just, just since you are in the government and you will know people who matter and you can spread this message, we'd just like to you know, bring in this important uh, report that my colleague has filed. Uh, many accidents, of course, can be avoided uh, if we can combat the menace of drunken driving. Uh, Shubhajit Sen Gupta went out on the roads of the national capital past midnight to find out how many uh, pickets were there to check drunken driving. And uh, uh, Mr. Ashwadhan, he didn't find many, so that is the worry. I'll come back and ask uh, that uh, question to you. It's past 12 o'clock on a Friday night and we are at Connaught Place. We've been traveling on the streets of Delhi for the last two and a half hours. And in spite of the fact that it's a Friday night, which is known to have more traffic accidents, especially due to drunken driving, we've hardly seen any pickets around. But here we've seen barricades have been put up, but no one is there per se to check whether the drivers who are coming in, driving late night and high speed on these roads are drunk or not. Drunken driving remains one of the prime reasons. Yet, on the streets of Delhi, not even a week since the death of Gopinath Munde in a road accident took place, we hardly see any checks going on in the streets. That is something which the Delhi needs to do, the police needs to enforce in order to ensure that no one gets hurt on the streets of Delhi. Certainly very important, uh, Dr. Harshwardhan. I don't want to be caught, uh, you know, because I don't intend to uh, uh, drive after drinking. Uh, but would you put in a word, uh, you know, to have perhaps more pickets? Because Shubhajit is worried, maybe Friday, you know, we could Friday night, Saturday night, we could have more pickets. You see, my, my uh, first in intention is, uh, I, I am a doctor. I feel that prevention is better than cure. Uh, uh, certainly, we should have more pickets uh, rather than catching those who are uh, indulging in drunken driving uh, through more pickets. I would advise people at least to uh, take a relook at their drinking habit because, as a doctor, I can tell you that like tobacco, alcohol can also kill you at the end of the day because one third of the people who take alcohol, they, will, uh, they are bound to develop liver disease which can be fatal in their life. Other one third could be developing a disease of the pancreas or maybe uh, many other diseases in, in the system. But I can so do it alcohol with moderation, and tobacco isn't it, sir? will ultimately... <laughs> 
Uh, I, I, I don't think uh, alcohol in any form uh, can be useful, tobacco in any form can be useful, they will ultimately uh, drive you towards uh, uh, the road uh, to death. So uh, I would uh, ask people to have a relook at their uh, drinking habit and at, uh, and, uh, at least make sure that e even if they have done it uh, by mistake or maybe if they are not able to control it uh, they should never resort to drunken driving uh, and of course then it becomes the duty of the police to have uh, these uh, massive uh, checks all over the city all the time especially in the night uh, so that there is a loud and clear message that we uh, we will not tolerate nonsense, right. we will not tolerate uh, breaking of rules. Right, a message coming in from the doctor himself, uh, don't drink at all if you can, uh, even if you do it, have a driver handy. Thank you so much uh, Dr. Hashwardhan for joining us. Uh, we certainly hope you will carry the message forward and make roads in India a little bit more safer for all of us, for you and for me. We'll be Earlier in the week, we saw a sad demise of your cabinet colleague, sir. In that, you'd said that a seat belt could have made a difference. Yes, of course. You see, the type of injuries that he received definitely signify to a very large extent the importance of the use of seat belt in prevention of such injuries and particularly fatal injury in this case resulting in spontaneous death. You see if Mr. Gopinath Bunde, Bunde was wearing a belt then the impact of that shock could not have uh, you can say taken the type of toll that it took. It cost him his life you see, then uh, the, you can, uh, you, uh, we could have uh, probably saved the liver from the uh, impact of the shock. We could have saved the spine from the impact of the shock. Otherwise, uh, when you are literally not aware of what's going to happen in the next second, then your body, if it suddenly gets a jerk or something, it cannot basically absorb that shock. But the belt helps you in absorbing that un, you can say unwanted or uh, sudden shock which was uninvited shock. So this is something which is very important and uh, most of the people somehow feel that if you are sitting on the rear seat, it's not essential to use the belt. I would advise every Indian for that matter and particularly for children, young people who have long years of their life to serve the family and to serve the society uh, to use the seat belt whether you are sitting in the front or whether you are sitting in the back.